Here we have we have guys obviously that have read the the actual book, right? Uh, that have gone through the script in some way, shape, or form. Saskas have. Uh, Andrew has. Carol went through it at, with her with her edits uh, as well. And um, I'm going to ask again because I know Saskas. We talked about it, but you know maybe you have another perspective that you like to give. We'll start with like Andrew, kind of. What do you think people are going to take away from this book when they finally get it in their damn hands uh, going into uh, early December? That's a great question. And something that Chuck Dixon is so good at doing is setting up interesting dynamics between characters that all exist in the same space, right? Whether we're talking with his work with the Bat family, Birds of Prey, whoever else, he knows how to dial into the individuality of the yeah. characters that form a team. And that's incredibly important because what's the point of having a team that's just three of the same person, right? It It's important to have individuals because the individuals are who we ultimately connect with as readers. And Chuck did such an incredible job dialing in on the differences between Brian and Ingrid, Ingrid and Braxwell, oh, yeah, all yeah. the different permutations, and then all the characters that surround them that are not necessarily part of that core trinity of the alpha core but the other characters that they interact with throughout the book and that's something that was really cool to me to see and it wasn't unexpected because i grew up reading chuck i'm like you yeah exactly. i grew up re reading fan chuck's fan, yeah. work right he yeah. was incredibly important to me growing up in comics but yeah man like the differences between the characters and making sure that each one of them felt unique and each one got really cool moments to have in the spotlight if you're super hot on ingrid you're going to be really happy. Oh, yeah. If you're stoked to see more Braxwell, you're going to be really freaking happy. Same thing with Brian. So he did a wonderful job just balancing all of these different characters, the difference between them as individuals, and making sure each one of them got some time in the limelight. I like that. I like that, man. And I agree 100%. That's what one of his strengths. Um, and that's why he was perfect. We've seen him... Handle definitely was like detective comics and, you know, handling different characters within the, the bat family uh, over the years, you know, you know, that he knows what he's doing when it's mm -hmm. time to really write a fresh story with characters that are not the same, right? They're different. They have different personalities. This is what Chuck does, does uh, a good job of. So um, I agree with that a hundred percent. Carol, you got to, you actually one of the first ones that got to actually see uh, the script uh, for Alpha Core, what do you think? Once people start, you know, they get their get their uh, hands finally on the book. So, what do you think they're gonna kind of take away from it? Maybe what did you take from it? Uh, well, when you sent me the script and asked me to edit it, I had a moment in my chair where I was like, "You want me to edit Chuck Dixon's script? <laughs> like what?" <laughs> but um, he's such a fantastic storyteller. He's got so much experience, and he's not somebody who writes one thing and he's like, okay, that's good enough. I'll keep at that level. Um, he's he's always pushing himself and trying to explore new things. I don't know if you guys know either, but like Chuck also writes like you know Conan mm -hmm. stories as well. Yeah. They're really good. I got to nerd out with him um, about Conan for a little bit, but you know the it's a story. It's such a wow. Yeah. Are we Yours twinning? Bigger than Azas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we got the same hair. Yeah, we do. Yeah. I like how we're twinning. It's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> Twinsies. We approve. <laughs> oh, <there you> go. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, it's really my. good. I think you guys are going to like it. It's a fantastic story. Great characters. No lecturing. No nothing. If you came to be entertained, you're going to be entertained. So that's that's the big takeaway. But yeah, that was that was my moment when you sent that to me. I was like, you want me to do what? Hell yeah! No, nah, you uh, it's obviously you do a great job on that on that tip and having your eyes just was um that was, that was vital. It's always been vital. Um, Andrew's helping out with a lot of that stuff as uh as well. Uh, so I uh, you know Saskas, you guys, you you, <laughs> I'm not gonna give it away. What's happening in in Yara One? I can't do that. Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> that's <laughs> why I'm right here. <laughs> You're not getting away with shit. I'm, I'm here. <laughs> what? What about Yaira too? Uh, no, 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 <laughs> no. Uh, I can't. I, I cannot tell you guys what's uh what's happening in that. However, the Saskas, are they because of um, you know they're also handling some of the Alpha Core. You know that um, there was a conflict in Isom One. That actually the conflict there was between Yaira and Alpha Core, and we have to pick up on that. 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We have to pick up on that. So you have a you have you guys have an interesting perspective because again, you, you have some characters that are inevitably going, you, you, you're gonna have to handle as well because you're handling Yaira and you know everybody knows that there's a conflict there. Uh, but you guys, of course, have already read the story. So what what do you think people are going to take away from it? It is also, again, with that experience and, hey, you're handling the Yara book. He's handling Chuck Dixon is handling Alpha Core. Um, and so you get to pick up on that. And their book, his book is obviously coming out first. So what was that experience like? And what do you think people are going to take away from it? Do you want to go first? No, you go first. I think one of the coolest <laughs> things was uh, that Chuck saw Brian Solari the same way that we did. And uh Spoiler alert, we write them the same way. Yeah. And, and it was it was awesome because we were like, oh my, it was uh okay, I can't say that. But um <laughs> uh you all know that Yaira and Brian Solari have history. And in ISOM one, stuff happened. Yeah. And when accepts make big deals in town, usually uh the the alpha core show up yeah. so there's a very good chance that that is going to be continued in yaira and uh i think yaira is pretty much something that is going to be a problem for alpha core for quite a bit yeah until that ever settles down which isn't really her that's not too bad that's not too spoilery <laughs> no not at all <laughs> i think it's fair to say and assess uh and if i'm giving something away you can't you you don't follow comics well enough this is already kind of already <laughs> out there yeah. yaira is going to push against uh the alpha core because there is a law and she has her own kind of rules as you could see there is a bit of a conflict over that True. something incredible in chuck's book is you really get like the rules and the regulations and kind of like the parameters of this world because as yaira from yaira's point of view oh f this guy he's always in my face right uh then you look at his world and it's not that easy like he's a very all of them are very layered characters brian solari i would have to say is my favorite because i also love the idea that this is a super powered war hero no. now he's a cop and like he's so much more powerful than your average cop and there are challenges within that yeah. And, you know, I, I always had a hard time relating to DC more than Marvel because like the Superman kind of guy, like I couldn't really relate to him. But even someone as powerful as Brian Solari, like he's a real human. He's not some alien from another planet. Right, and he right. has limitations. Yeah. Absolutely. Like all of them have limitations. They all have their strong suits and they have limitations. It's just so nice to see like not just three dimensional good guys, but three dimensional bad guys like <laughs> There the bad guys were my favorite. Yeah. yeah, I love the bad guys because they're also lovable in a messed up kind of way. But, you know, you kind of love to root for them, too. Right. Yeah. Obviously, Chuck has to write lots and lots of bad guys. So to see him invent bad guys in uh, in Floor Spark and to show why Alpha Core has to exist with the dangers that happen regularly and what that looks like. It's so much fun. And the situations he picks are just so pitch perfect. Yeah, and the way that he lays something out, like the story, like yeah. panel by panel, it's like going to an orchestra and like just everything plays really nice and no one messes it up. It's just like, wow, is this what music's supposed to sound like? It's just, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, and you bring up a great point uh, with the differentiation. I know Andrew uh, sort of brought this up as well between these uh, various characters and Brian having his own personality. And that's that's for sure a challenge. Um, you know, yeah, we might be using these other characters in our own individual stories, right? With uh, Yaira as well as Isom. Uh, but it's at the end of the day, it's it's centered around those characters in Yaira and Isom. But Chuck is tackling like a full team, right? Uh, uh, of people. So to your point, there's all these threads within this story. And he does, despite it only being, well, I don't want to say only, it's the same page count as, as our books are with Isom and, and, and Yaira and everything else, but it's, it, it, he does such a great job in making sure every character had their moments. Um, yeah. you know, if, if that makes sense. And it doesn't feel like it's just one of the individual characters books. Like, and again, how he does it, that just speaks to his level of expertise, how professional this man is. 
uh, and and all of that. So you guys are going to love the book. The people that hear that have read it are, are have thoroughly enjoyed it. And I can't wait for you guys to get a, a hand on it. Alpha Core number one's pre-order is live. Written by the legendary Chuck Dixon and penciled by Joe Bennett. Visit Ripperverse.com to grab a copy and any of the merchandise items. Be sure to also check out the animated trailer for the campaign, which is the latest project from Ripperverse Studios. Y'all be easy.